Pyrex guy here and I'm getting ready for the first uh, Phantom 3 professional flight. That's the one with the 4K Ultra HD camera. You can find it, the case, the accessories, everything. Check the link within this video's description. I've got it on uh, 400 or below. Uh, now what I'm going to want to do first is power on my controller just by pushing this power button right here. And obviously I've already updated the firmware on the controller on the Phantom, uh, Phantom 3 Professional and I've, uh, I've done all of that because if you don't do that and you don't have the most current app installed, it's not going to work. So check the link within this video's description for that. So now once I've powered on my controller, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is power on the Phantom. If you've used previous Phantoms, it's kind of the same button push. You'll be comfortable with it. There we go. Now, indication that it's that it's turning on. We're going to go through all of this, and I'm going to have multiple camera angles. So as we get airborne, I will uh, I will be showing you what the app sees, as well as what the Phantom sees. It's going to be really good. And this is just the first of many videos. I just wanted to get that uh, that big welcome to Phantom Three Professional out there because I know a lot of people are curious about it. Um, so we're going to put this over here. Now we're in the uh, in the app. Uh, this is the DJI Pilot app. Now, if you have not updated your firmware for your Phantom and also for your uh, uh, for the controllers I mentioned earlier, this isn't going to work. You've also got to have the most current app version. Uh, this just because there was a DJI Pilot app for the Inspire One, it wasn't compatible with the uh, with the Phantom Three until the recent update. I've made sure that I've formatted my memory card. I'm going to do it again. I'm using the card that came with it. Mine came with a 16 gig, which I felt was pretty nice. I'm just checking my checking my video modes because I do want to get this in 4K. Uh, this is the Phantom 3 Professional, so it does 4K Ultra HD, so four times the physical size of HD, which HD is awesome. And if you get the uh, if you check the link within this video's description and get the advanced version, that's not 4K, you still get 1080p HD at 60 frames per second, which is twice that of the previous generation Phantom 2 Vision Plus, which was 1080p 30 frames per second. Plus you're getting the really cool light bridge and all of that that you're gonna see in here, here in a minute. Uh, basically 720p HD first person view with crazy range. Obviously I'll fly responsibly in, in line of sight, but it's there if someone uh, was in a situation where they needed that extra range. Uh, so we're going to look through a few things here. This is my first flight. Pardon my, uh, pardon any stumbles that I may make this first time flying. One thing you want to do is make sure that this right here is in P. P is the mode that's you know using the satellites and and all of the goodness for uh, uh, for your flight. I'm also going to want to make sure I'm in video mode. Uh, as you can see, indicated towards the top right of the app, it, it does seem that it's in a uh, it's in the 4K 30 frames per second. Let me make sure you can see that. I'm going to double check and make sure I'm still recording. Yeah, and I am. I've got a, a small wireless network set up out here so I can so I can capture what, what, what I see in the app and paste it up on the screen so you can see it. So everything looks good. It says safe to fly. That's an enhancement. If you've dealt with previous Phantoms, they weren't tough, but if you've dealt with them, you knew that finding the satellites, looking at the LED indicators, everything was, it, it, it took it took some reading, it took some skill. And that's why you saw a lot of people, oh man, it flew away, because they didn't properly read their owner's manual before they started flying. Uh, so this, I've read my owner's manual. Uh, I can see, uh, I can see a map. I can see my, let's see, we're gonna do the gimbal tilt down and up, it's working. Uh, and that's something we can do. You can tweak the speed of the gimbal tilt if you want to do so and that's something I may do this is just my first flight uh, so I may decide to make it a more uh, a more slow more cinematic type look so uh, before we take off uh, again I've checked the battery I'm at 98 percent on the Phantom battery I'm gonna hit record now there are some physical buttons on the controller uh, I'm gonna try one of those so when I hit that since I'm in video mode you can see it's able to start recording by me pushing that 
versus pushing the soft button in the app. Uh, that's something you obviously you did not have this cool of a controller with the previous generation Phantoms, and that's just one of the many features that you'll find on this controller. And we'll, we'll explore that in more depth in some of my other videos. So be sure to subscribe to my channel. Uh, this is just my initial flight test. So let's go ahead and get airborne. Uh, there's a few ways to do this. There is a takeoff button um, that I don't know if I'm going to do that. I'm going to see if the traditional route works first. You know where you hold the where you hold the two uh, you hold the two sticks kind of down, and that still works. So for uh, for old school people like myself that have grown up with Phantom One, have used Phantom Two, have used Phantom Two Vision Plus, you still have that option of starting your uh, starting your Phantom. So let's see if you can see that Phantom there in the yeah. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to take off here. Again, I'm in a safe area and obviously I'll fly responsibly. So let's go ahead and get some good video, see what this puppy can do. I immediately noticed a lot more power than I had with the previous Phantom. The takeoff was a lot, uh, lot faster. I'm not going too high yet. I want to make sure I've got uh, control of the craft and, and I'm starting to understand the uh, the controls. I'm tilting the gimbal down right there as you can see. It is sunny out here. One thing I will be investing in is a uh, is a sunshade. There's also tweaks you can make to the app. I do have a little bit of uh, I, I will confess I do have a little bit of noise in the app but I think that's because I have not yet uh, I've not yet what's the word for it uh, further customize the uh, the FPV configuration although I can see what's going on it's not exactly uh, not exactly ideal yet so that's a tweak I'm gonna have to make again this is a first time in the field so I'm not I'm not an expert yet this is just something that you know I'm learning and I wanted to uh, I wanted to get it out and put it to a to an honest test. Now, unfortunately, I only have one battery uh, because I bought it with one battery. My my thoughts behind that is that if I just buy one battery with it, maybe it'll deliver faster. And it and I got lucky. I got this thing quick. Um, let's do some video test here. Some. I'm just going to ignore the. Uh, The, uh, the video quality issues in FPV right now. That's that's something I'll tweak. I'm not worried about it, but I've got one battery, so I'm more concerned with what type of aerial footage can we get. And now I do have the prop guards on, so it's going to be interesting to see how they uh, how they appear within the uh, within the frame, and that's. I would highly recommend prop guards. A lot of people criticize me for uh, for using those, but I don't. Uh, I don't like flying without them because it saves props and you're saving money because you're breaking less props when you when you land. It's just a great way to uh, try to save some money and be safer too. And when people see prop guards, they associate that with being a more responsible drone flyer, which is a good thing. So. Um, And this noise that you're seeing on the FPV, it may be the uh, result of, uh, I, I do have Wi-Fi connection going right now for my, for the video capture that you see here. But it's definitely easy to see what's going on. Whereas with, uh, with previous, with previous Phantoms, you had a very limited degree of clarity. We're going to go over these tennis courts here. Obviously, I'm flying visually in line of sight at a, at a safe altitude. Something that's going to destroy the evolution of drones if people aren't more responsible when they're using them. It's going to... Uh, going to really halt 
innovation. This thing's a lot faster than the uh, than the previous Phantom too, which is really cool. But also, this is a good test of battery life. This is, as I mentioned, this is the first time I've flown, uh, so I don't, you know, I don't really know what to expect. I mean, obviously, I, I kind of knew what to expect because I've had such great success with uh, with the DJI Phantom series. I mean, it's been a each one that I've owned has just been rock solid, and and uh, the performance, both from a video and and stability perspective has been perfect. I, I never was a fan. I know a lot of people adopted the uh, uh, the Inspire, but I it, it just wasn't for me. It was too big, and I mean, even if the price had been less than the Phantom 3, I still would have bought the Phantom 3 just because it's a proven platform. It's more portable. Um, this camera, I mean, this, and I have, granted, at the time of posting this, I haven't watched any video recorded uh, with a Phantom 3, but I think this video quality in 4K just speaks for itself. I mean, it's, it's absolutely crisp. Now I'm seeing the noise on the uh, on the display disappear. I may have just had some interference, and that's like I said, there's a there's a setting, and that's something we'll explore in future videos. There's a setting where you can tweak the uh, the FPV setup, and that's something that I'll uh, that I'll explore you know today as I keep saying over and over it's my first field test I just want to see what does this thing do and if you're like me you've been sitting up in bed at night and you've been saying I want to see that Phantom 3 in action and you know I forced myself to wait because I was waiting we're gonna pick up some speed here see how fast it'll go um, there's there I am down there you can see in the in the big open area down there and when we go over we're going to tilt the camera down whoa and see now that was a rapid tilt again something i'm going to do is tweak the uh the speed of the uh, of the gimbal tilt because that's something that i want to uh, i want to perfect it for for video purposes obviously doing uh, recreational and entertaining videos that i do on uh, Iron Skies Adventure Channel, I want to make sure that I can uh, provide the best viewing pleasure when you're watching these videos. Because part of the fun is flying the Phantom, but the other part is capturing a video perspective and or photos such as this that with any other technology it wouldn't be financially feasible to do so. Whereas now you've got a camera on a, uh, on a drone where you can get quality of uh, a video and photo that that rivals it's even better than like a helicopter or something so I mean there's people that'll go out and, and book a helicopter and they're paying more and obviously I don't do this for commercial purposes but there's people that'll book a helicopter to go out and fly and they're spending more for that that you know when and if this does become and that's what I'm that's why I keep preaching responsible drone ownership you know you've got to you, you've got to be responsible with these things because otherwise we're not going to have the luxury of seeing the the uh, the opportunities from an entrepreneurial perspective that that a lot of other countries all, already embrace so I mean you know this technology is in its infancy but it's something that you know as you can see here I mean these things are getting more and more advanced more and more user-friendly I mean it's something that that people uh, that you know anybody it's able to pick up a video game controller they well you don't want anybody to pick, that plays a video game to pick these up but someone that's responsible you know you can uh, you can take advantage of technology and I've noticed that noise is gone there must have been something nearby that was that was interfering you can see on my FPD display now it looks really clear um, And I'm hoping you can see that. I'm hoping I'm still recording. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk over here. Let's put this in a hover, and you're gonna see that it's when I walk over there to check my my screen recording app. 
Okay, it's in a hover now. See, my hands are off. So just to give you an idea, it's using GPS and GLONASS, which is Russian satellites. So I'm not, my hands aren't even on. I'm gonna see if I'm still recording. And I am still recording, so that's good. So you'll be able to see all this as I'm alternating among the multiple camera angles. Uh, that, that, that was my intent when I came out here today was to, uh, you know, to capture this from multiple camera angles. And I, and see, there went some noise right there. I don't know if that showed up on the display or not, but there's a little bit of, uh, there's a little bit of noise, but that's something I'll tweak in a future video. This is just initial impressions and seeing what kind of, what kind of video clarity we can get from this, because this is, uh, this is absolutely awesome. And what's cool is that the prop guards, and a lot of people complain, oh, if you put prop guards on, it's going to degrade performance, this, that, and the other. But the reality of the situation is that you can see here, I mean, if obviously if I angled up a lot, I may catch a prop guard or I may catch the props as well. It's not, it's not impacting. I mean, I, we'll see when we watch this video how long I've been flying because I'm at 40, 44% battery right now. Um, but I'm, th I'm thinking I'm getting pretty good flight time. I haven't, haven't looked at my watch or at, uh, at any sort of timing device to see, but that'll be, uh, that'll be demonstrated within this, within this video when you're watching it and when I'm watching it for the first time. So just look at that detail. I mean, the, you're seeing detail in a, in an FPV first person view that you couldn't even get in the in the actual camera itself when it was downloaded to your computer in the past. So I mean it's the technology is just I mean this is absolutely Let's put it this way, GoPro's releasing a uh, a drone that's confirmed. But for GoPro drone to meet or exceed this I mean, they've got they've got their uh, challenge cut out for them because this thing is. And look at that over there to the right. You can even see when I'm panning up, it's got a little ruler, so you can tell. So what I'll be able to learn is, you know, when I'm flying, if you're flying backwards, obviously you're not going to have your prop guards in there. Uh, but what I've got to learn is, uh, you know, to what point on that scale over there do I need to be below so that I don't get. Uh, so that I don't get prop guards in the, in the frame if I'm flying forward. I mean, this thing is so customizable. I mean, it is, again, I, I read the manual so that I would be safe and, you know, and, and know what I was doing, but it's, I mean, this thing has exceeded my expectations. The only, the only minor gripe, now there's prop guards as I came to a stop. Um, and see, there they are now, because I've got the camera kind of angled. So if I don't want to get the prop guards in, put it about there, I don't think they're in it, but they may be in the top of the screen. It's blocked out by my uh, by my diagnostic stuff. Okay, now it made an alarm. It said low power. Well, you can see that. I don't have to show you the app. Um, so that's that's my time to bring it back and land it. I'm gonna I'm gonna come over here and land.
I'm going to stop my recording in there and I'm going to proceed with some afterthoughts. The way I was recording the screen is a little bit of a secret, but it's something, uh, if it turns out well, it's something that I'll, uh, I'll probably share with everyone. But So looking at the recording time, I got, and I forget the exact time, I think it was about 15 minutes of video. I've got seven, approximately 17% of the battery life remaining. I did do some, some rapid uh, acceleration, so that was, uh, that was eating some battery life. But I do have the quick disconnect prop guards on there. So I feel, and again, you tell me when you watch this video, when I watch this video, I feel that the performance was great. And one thing I noticed when I landed was how smooth the, uh, the landing was. Like with the, if you've dealt with a Phantom 2 and a Phantom 2 Vision Plus, you may have, uh, you may have dealt when you know when you land you never want to just cut off your engines you want to kind of slow down the the left control stick let the engines kind of throttle down so that it doesn't jerk and tilt over when it's landing because that's how you break props one of the ways you break props uh, something else i'll be curious about uh, within this app is since i did record for about 15 minutes and i was recording at 4k 30 frames per second how much of this 16 gig memory card do i have remaining and that'll give me a feel for you know what size memory card do I need to use because obviously once I do get more batteries and once I am out in the field and capturing really cool content, uh, you know you've got to have you've got to have enough memory card to store that video, especially when you're using multiple batteries. This was just one battery, one memory card, the memory card that came with it. So it'll be interesting to see um, how all of this turned out. But I can't wait to see the footage. I'm not going to bore you with rambling on and on in this video because, again, this is the first of many. This is just my first impressions video with the brand new DJI Phantom 3 Professional. And again, you need to get the case, the waterproof and ruggedized case, the prop guards, and, uh, and everything. This little short cable right here that makes it look neat going from your iOS device, your iPhone, your iPod, uh, your iPad. Make it look neater and shorter than, than using a factory length uh, lightning cable. And any questions you have, drop me a line. Check the link within this video's description, 400orbelow.com. You can get everything there. Shoot me a message by way of 400orbelow.com, 400 400orbelow.com, irxsky.com, wherever you want to uh, go to contact me. Facebook, I'm on Facebook, I'm on YouTube. Uh, drop me a message, I'll do my best to answer. But I will say uh, in closing of this video that, this, that the initial impressions of the Phantom 3 Professional are extremely good. The only minor gripe that I have, and it's something I will tweak, it's not an issue, but it's something I will tweak, and, and that's why I wanted to do a real-world test. I didn't know what to expect. I did notice that graininess with the uh, with the real-time FPV feed, but that's something I'll tweak, and I'll share with the world how to do that. Uh, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. YouTube.com forward slash Irix. Y'all have a good day.